it's been a very, very rewarding experience. And I will be somewhat vanilla or generic in my speech today because of the there's just too many people to thank. So they'll be lumped. Um, and even those reading the you know this article, it, I just won't capture it. My best day on the job. Uh, every day was every day. But 14 March was a pretty good day because I got to, you know, General Anderson set me up for success. Um, and it only got better every day afterwards. I've had some tough days. Um, anytime you lose a soldier. Um, meeting with families of the fallen. Um, but their strength is just, you know, absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, there's nothing you can really say to them. You can't give them what they really want. Uh, but to see how they continue to move on, you Good. can't you can't have a bad day after you talk to a, uh, either a wounded soldier or a family of the fallen. Um, well, we talk about never leaving, a, you know, never forgetting them. It's a pretty tall order. Um, it's, it's interesting. Some families, you know, how do you, the, the challenge is how do you continue to honor their service and sacrifice? Um, but some families, they all, they all move on differently. And so I've had some say, I appreciate it, but please, I can't keep reliving it. Um, so there's a, so they're each, they're each very different and unique, and we can't treat them all. The, we can't treat them all the same. But I think I, I don't know. It's a, is something more we got to do than just giving them a gold star. I mean, not, how many Americans really know what that, what that means?